know, it's a pretty good climb. It depends on how the weather is. And it's blowing, blowing out and frosty. I try to just hike up it in one shot. Approximately right about 150 feet here. Two joysticks, apparently. Two yeah. joysticks. This is middle left, right, trolley out, trolley in. Trolley out, trolley in. Okay. This is up and down, but I always got to be hanging on to that. If I do anything without pushing that down, it shuts it off. Okay, it locks it up. So then I got to start it over, and if you, you know, if you panic and it's not back in neutral, it won't start back up. I got to go up there almost on a daily basis and look at motors and cable and stuff. So. Cable down. Cable down. John, uh, let's drop this right, right here so I can choke that up a little tighter there, buddy. Okay, John, let's cable up. Yeah, there's a lot of, lot of obstacles that can get in your way. For something like this, I gotta drop it in first gear. And, I mean, that's, as you can see, I mean, you can't see the load anymore, and you're going down, and guys are down there, and, and you, know, you rely on the radio, and people being confident. What they're trying to do is they just watch that the straps don't hook on anything, you know. I, I can see some, they can see some, and just don't go too fast till, till you clear. And clear. Yeah, you gotta have an interest in this kind of stuff or you're not gonna like it, you know. And it's, it's been challenging. You gotta be focused and concentrate all the time, you know, you don't get any redos in a crane this size. So, right now we're not real busy, but a lot of days <coughs> you don't have a lot of time to sightsee. I and mean, you're, you're focused on what you're doing and, you know, it, uh, with the steel it's pretty repetitious and it keeps you busy. I mean, it's, when they start flying steel it's non-stop. This, this is a big crane, you gotta, you know, have a lot of respect for it. Try to be efficient and get the job done fast and safe.